Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got another Kiss Gel Strong and this one's Mint Sky. And I'm going to use that Morora Foil Stamping Polish. I've started off with Neltik's Formula 2. And here is Mint Sky. It's another dusty, almost a baby bluish, greenish kind of color. Very pretty. I'm going to cap my free edge real quick first. And I head on into my first coat. Again, these polishes are really awesome. I know, if they're hard for you to find, I'm sorry. They are hard for me to find too, but I always check all of my local Dollar Trees, and I do have several of them around me, and, uh, you know, I try to make a point to go in every month or two and see if they have anything new that I don't have, and we just got a new one, so that really helped. And here goes my second coat. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm loving this. I'm going to top it with Posh Top Coat to get it to dry down really quick so that I can get to playing because that's what I'm here for today. I want to do some playing. Cap my free edge there. And I'm going to be using the Mora Stamping Polish and this You Are Beautiful O2 Plate. This polish is made for doing foil stamping. <laughs> I have not played with it a ton, so it's, you know, I'm still learning. I have my little piece of foil out, and I've got a my monocle stamper from Maniology and my beauty scraper. So I am going to put the Morrow Polish on and pick it up, apply that to my nail, and this one's the silver. I'm going to apply that to the nail and then start tapping in the foil polish. And I think I might have waited too long or not waited long enough. I don't know. Like I said, I'm new at this. So I'm not really pleased with the results. So I check it out. I'm going to do a little cleanup. I'm still looking at it thinking, hmm, that really does not look very... It just doesn't look right. I'm not happy with it. So we're going to do that again. I'm just going to go over right over what I just did. Stamping it out again. I've got to line it up, which is tricky go over the spot I'd already done and then I'm gonna tap it in again <laughs> okay now now I'm getting a little more happy it's looking a little better so there we go I am gonna go in and clean up with some acetone and my cleanup brush I've just decided I'm I'm just over it I want to you know get it cleaned up so I can top coat it and I was pretty happy with the end result um, I don't know you know, I, I don't know what tricks I need to learn for this, but if I figure it out, I will share them. I'm going to top this with the Pitcher Polish Revolution. It's made for going over foils. And I don't think I let it dry good enough before I did my real top coat because it still ended up kind of crackling a little bit. But it was all okay because I was kind of looking for a distressed look anyway. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So now I am going to top it with the Posh Top Coat, seal it in, dry it down, call it finished, you know. But you know, I love playing with foils and doing different things, so I was pretty happy with this one. So there we go. You can see it's kind of crackled up a little bit. It's not smooth and shiny like it was. And there's my swatch photo. So let me know what you think. Tell me your tips and tricks on foils. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.